Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to McDroid. I have no idea what this game is about, apart from the fact that it's a uh, third-person shooter, tower defense game, and you play as a little uh, quadrupedal robot that's pretty adorable. I've been hoping this game would come out for... I want to say almost a year, but they kept pushing back the uh, release date, so... Yeah. How are you doing, my cutie pie? Good. Hello, planet. We're home. Planet. Okay, so, uh, I didn't realize this game would be voice acted. Anyway, been waiting for this game for a long time, and I'm gonna have to shut up a lot because they're gonna be talking over me. And apparently, you automatically repair things. So, apparently you repair things automatically, that's good. Uh, well, this is a problem. Did it just flat out freeze on me for, nope, okay. Oh, interesting, so now I have a turret attached to me. It was weird that it paused so much, but uh, we've repaired the shuttle, right? Hey, apparently I can jump. So, looks to be WASD works pretty well. Looks like I can put down this gun turret wherever I want. Oh. Hello. Ow. Okay, do not stand in the fire, even though there was nice collectible loot to be had. Okay, so it looks like I can pick stuff up. What's this do? Oh, that, that's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just collect our loot. Oh, shoot. There's another one coming in, apparently. So, looks like there's... Oh, I see. Oh, I can control it or it will automatically target things. That's interesting. This is cool. And I can repair things at seemingly no cost to myself, which is good. Uh, time to run through the fire and flames. There we go. Okay, let's pick the turret back up. So, this is actually fairly self-explanatory. I'm a little bit impressed. I was expecting something a little bit more challenging or a little bit more tutorially. I'm not sure what these goobity goop things in the uh, that the monsters are dropping. I'm not sure what they're for, but might as well keep them around. Now I, th I don't know if the glowing green things are some kind of an addition to me or something else. Oh, do not want to be standing there. Oh, looks like I have to be defending against this one. Doesn't look like there's camera rotation. Uh oh. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to be mobile for this one. Unless there's some way of. You know. Oh, shoot. Okay, so you can kite them around. That's convenient. And. Sorry that the commentary is sparse. The fact that they're talking every once in a while is confusing, but. Yes, I understand you're under attack. I'm probably gonna have to turn off voice acting after a certain point in this game just because. It's going to be a pain in the butt to comment, commentate over just basic talking. So it looks pretty simple. You can kite them around. I think I automatically heal or something. It's a bit hard to tell. Either that or I pick up those greenish screws and then we're good. Hard to tell. So there's jump. There's moving with WASD. Uh, wow. You were a champ, but I have bad news. Oh, oh, oh. I was really awesome in the descent. But I burned away all the strawberry fuel. Where did I put that backup reservoir? Hmm. I 
do that. Let's go. Okay, so overall, actually pretty simple. Pretty interesting. We got gems. Oh, that green box is a little bit... This feels almost like it should be a mobile game as opposed to a PC game, honestly. So, anyway, as I was saying, very simple, as far as I can tell. I, I was hoping that we get into the building stuff, but maybe we'll get there as we go along. Maybe that... Oh, this is like the world map. That makes sense. So, you know... Souls. Sweet Jesus, what kind of robot are we? I guess we're the kind of robot that uh, kidnaps souls. Oh, hey. Apparently you can actually rotate the camera around. That's good to know, because apparently if you zoom in close enough, you can actually go into, like, pseudo-first-person mode. It's a bit jerky, though, but uh, it's cool nonetheless. Oh, you can also do it with just right-click. How did I not figure that one out? Anyway, level two. Let's go. So, you can do this game in co-op, too, but currently, I'm just doing it on my own, because I don't have anybody else to play with, because nobody else owns this game, because the game just came out today. Anyway, let's just do the first couple levels. We don't have hands. What are you talking about? Hey, there's a strawberry, though. So... It's quite the spaceship we've got here. It's almost just oh, like yum. a... Strawberry fuel. Originally designed for removal of kidney stones, also an effective asteroid mining laser. Okay, so apparently we get a new type have of gun. Fun protecting me while I refill, and go have a look inside that chest over there. Juicy. Soon you can buy them lasers. Oh. Interesting. Okay, so you get seeds from picking them up off of the ground or from monsters. And you can put them into this patch here. And if you collect enough of them, you can bring them back to the ship. And it looks like the stra strawberries either don't stop growing or grow for a certain amount of time and then stop. It's kind of hard to tell. Anyway, let's build a welder. Toss it over here. I'd like to buy a number of them, but... Um, so it looks like the resource mechanic is gained from killing enemies. And then you, you pick them up. Don't know if there's an automatic delivery system or not. But pick them up here, bring them back to this, get resources, and each of these has a cost. It's kind of hard to tell exactly how the cost works, but... Like, I'm not, I'm not sure what the difference between gems and strawberries are, but, you know, we can get another one of these. It looks like, okay, it has a tiny little icon with a tiny little five saying it's five strawberries to get a, another welder. And looks like we've got, we've got just wave one coming from over on that angle, which is good. Now, another thing is the strawberries will just kind of land in the area. I don't know if they disappear or if they just stick around until... Do we have another one coming up? Or is it just that one over there? Looks like it's just that one over there. Anyway, so you don't have to worry about picking up the strawberries immediately. They're not going to disappear right away. But it is probably something fairly important. Let's get another welding laser. Might as well. And looks like these I might actually have to shoot on my own. Not a big deal, though. Let's pick up these, plant some more seeds. Okay. Pretty self-explanatory without words, actually. I'm impressed. So, let's... Just build a bunch of welders all over the place. Kind of load them up. I'm not sure what this thing is. Really not sure what it is. It's like a... It's a... Okay, so if you hold right-click, you can, like, specifically target stuff. Not actually if, sure if that's even remotely necessary, but it's a thing. Okay, and it doesn't look like the strawberries disappear immediately. Which is good. Now, it also does not look like the enemies... The enemies are only interested in attacking the main ship. Everything else is completely secondary. So, I could actually just be... Completely... I, I could just... Well, I guess there's not a whole lot of places to put my stuff down. You can only put your towers in the little boxy areas. Okay, buy and install lots of lasers. Yep, we already know that. So, let's pick up one of our own. And it looks like I will automatically attack whether or not I'm clicking, so I don't have to worry about specifically having direct control over what I'm shooting, which is really convenient. Yeah, let's plant the last of the seeds, and now we have a full-out strawberry patch. And, like I was saying, it does not look like they automatically 
Well, uh, it doesn't look like the strawberries decay, which is convenient. Fortunately, it does fe feel a little simplistic in the beginning, but, I mean, go figure. It's a tower defense, and does actually look like it's a little bit targeted at children. Not that that's really a problem. Okay, next up, oh, I like the fact that you can see when the wave is coming. I wish maybe it was a little, like a timer or something like that, because I'm seeing the thing scroll up, but it just, like, jerked backwards as though... Well, I think I hear it coming in, but it's just one of those... I'm having trouble determining how... Oh, I see. It counts down instead of counts up. That, I guess, makes sense. I don't know. Call me pers persnickety, but let's, let's grab a laser beam. Oh, right. I don't want to do direct control here. Bad things would probably happen. Let's just go with this. Now... It does look like, like you can cap out on number of seeds you're carrying around, so eventually you're just carrying around a bunch. And I don't think the monsters actually go for any of the strawberry plants, so you can just kind of leave them unattended for a while. Let's have quite a lot of strawberries. Might as well just max everything out. I don't think I can upgrade any... Nope. Uh, does not look like I can upgrade. I can swap them around. And I don't know if this game has a specific scoring system, so... I guess I'll just keep de delivering the strawberries, even though there's uh, no obvious reason to do so at this point. It's just something to do while I wait for the enemies to come in. I kind of wish there was a, uh, like a time warp system so you could speed it up while you wait. Because that could conceivably be convenient. Oh, well, this looks different. So we've got some kind of blue, faster type of worm. I'll use myself as bait, even though it didn't really matter. Set ourselves on fire just a little bit and grab some of these orbs. Come on. Thank you. Souls. Oh, hey. This is new. Is it? Or is it not? No, this is the normal gun we've been using, hasn't it? Oh, needs research, or I could sell the one I've currently got equipped. Because, yeah, that's the same gun I've been running around with. So, I guess back to strawberries. Yep, and it froze my, uh, your, strawberries. So, apparently, I gathered too many strawberries, and it's uh, currently froze them. That's interesting. Okay, so it looks like the, the timer things don't actually show, like, real time. It just chunks down every, maybe, five, ten seconds. Which is actually kind of disappointing. You'd think you could totally animate it so it just counts down constantly so you had a better meter on time. Not, not like it really matters, but, uh, you know, is a consideration. Now, we've got lots of souls and stuff. I'm just gonna run around and grab things as we go, because I think the soul crystals actually disappear after a certain point, and we've got a fair amount of health. I mean, we're not losing too much, but prefer to grab as many and everything as we can before it all disappears. Right? Right. I still kind of wish I knew what that plant over there did, but, uh, oh well, not the end of the world. We are a bit on the injured side, as in we're on fire. Agreed. And they were juicy. But I haven't heard Planet in a while. Do you think something's happened to her? Oh, someone must have bored a hole through the geological strata, replaced the naturally occurring magma core with an artificial gravimetrically identical mass of their own, and basically drilled planet's consciousness out. Okay, okay. Let's go heal her heart. That should restore her soul. But those crits smell bad. And bite. Researching? Of course, you little genius. Except... We need diamonds for that, and we don't have any, so... Thanks for the coordinates! Now jumping to the diamond mining station! So, uh, apparently a small amount of plot. The plot ha uh, the plot. The planet has gone insane, and is trying to kill us. Potentially. We collect a butt-ton of souls, too. Do we get three stars? We better. I was championing this one. I don't know if it's going to get much harder. I, I definitely have to say, this game is no orcs must die, but it definitely does have the uh, visual thing down. Like, I, I'm definitely digging the style. I'm just going to have to mess with the graphics settings a little bit, because the frame rate likes to switch back and forth between, you know, nice 
60 frames per second and 30 or less. Let's mess around with that. Okay, so, uh, overall first impressions, pretty good actually. I, I'm impressed with the visuals, but that's what drew me to the game at first. The gameplay is super simplistic. I'm hoping that it gets a little bit more advanced as we go along. Because currently it's mostly just sit there and let your towers handle things, which I mean pretty fun as far as tower defenses go But I've just been playing a lot of This is no mining station Oh you hit the diamonds in a safe Good looking under robots that need their coat. Armani is made of an alloy of titanium mm. and secret sauce okay. for this extra... Let's hope they're sturdy. That's a shame that they don't pause while you're talking to the thing. Oh well, it's not that big of a deal. So, uh, I think we have new armor for our dude. I think that's what this is supposed to be. Armor baby. Yep, increases our own resilience and nothing else. What the heck is this? Uh... Left click. Oh, yeah, we already know that, except for that's turdy stuff. Well, oh, I should repair this dirt, seeing as we're here. Doesn't look like we have any other injured ones. We do have the mysterious plant, for whatever reason. Might as well burn down this sign. Oh, apparently you get souls for burning signs. Yes, I've already seen this one. There, it burns too. Apparently we get souls for that too. And strawberries, and apparently we got waves coming in. Which is on the concerning side of things. Oh wow, that is... What that? Well, everything is on fire. And terrifying. Okay, let's put our turret there. And can I build another one? Nope, I don't... Uh, have to go back to the thing to get this. Okay. Now, I can build another welder. Let's get in here. And we'll just carry it around mobile. Doesn't seem like there's a damage difference for, you know, having it equipped or not. Does look like there's a range difference, actually. Oh, right. Have to kind of worry about the whole... I do have to worry about the fact that the entire center area is on fire. And that's, you know, not always the best thing. Oh, do not stand next to the popcorn. Popcorn burns. I mean, really, they're barrels, but, but still, ouch. And keep ga gathering strawberries. It looks... Oh, shoot. It... Oh. Well, looks like there is a maximum on the number of strawberries you can carry around, which is, I mean, makes sense. A bit disappointing, but makes sense. Apparently we've got another chest I need to pick up, but first, strawberries, because we need... Uh, dang it. Why are the diamonds in the center where it's on fire? This is not appreciated. Get the lasers in. T take out the little guys. Oh, shoot. I'm going to need to buy some armor, because I'm, I'm not handling this well. I... Do not like the fact that all the loot is hiding out in the center, where uh, shit's on fire. Okay, seeing as they are all beelining for the ship, I might as well actually focus on that. Let's pick up... Okay, so that's pretty much all those things on the sides already. Oh, right. Might as well plant some seeds while we're here. And it does look like the stuff in the center does disappear like I originally thought. Let's get ourselves some armor. Uh, okay, that's just mines. Armor. Wow, we look beefier. I didn't actually realize that that would be possible. Okay, and let's get ourselves a laser. I think, did that actually beef up our defenses as well? I don't know. Or our, our, like, combat ability. Well, it's a shame that we have to hop through the fire just to, you know, collect our just reward for killing monsters, but let's see. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Well, hopefully that doesn't break my defenses or, you know, something like that. Either way, this is... Okay, this is working out. It's interesting. So apparently you have tabs for each type of defense. So there's, like, droid upgrades. I don't know what these two are. Oh, right. We got this thing over here. I should probably interact with it. Okay, we are doing damage to it. So I might as well build another welder there. Keep buying welders. And I should be able to take it out pretty fast. Hey, here's all the diamonds. All of our diamonds. Wow, that's quite a lot of diamonds. Baby snail with teeth. Oh, that's a thing. Okay. So, it 
looks like... Oh, at what? Destroy the remains of big monsters, get extra diamonds, and remove lingering cor corruption. Good to know. Let's build a couple more turrets for the time being, because they're attacking this side. Grab our strawberries, because I think they're disappearing. And there's a lot of micromanaging here. I could totally see this being a lot easier with co-op, which makes sense. This game does have co-op built in. Okay, let's command our guys to bust this thing up. I think they'll automatically do it without my help. Oh, shoot. What's up with my ship? I don't know. Okay, well, let's see if I can bust that thing up before it goes. Run back over here and collect our much-deserved wealth. There's a lot of things to be managing here. This is too much for one Wanderbot to handle. Okay, buy another laser beam, seeing as we deserve it. Oh, there we go. And I think there's still more stuff to destroy. Also, eggs and shits. Ah. Oh, sweet lordy. What is all going on here? Okay. Looks like we've maxed out on the number of strawberries we can have going on right now, which is totally fine. Just gotta get past. Unfortunately, the strawberry thing actually seems to form like an impediment so we can't get past, which is a bit on the grumpy side. Nope, nope, diamonds, diamonds. Ow. Okay, this is the last wave. Let's let's try and have all of my lasers bust this thing up before that last wave shows up. Because I want the rewards. Give me, give me my stuff. There we go. And we're good. Fortunately, it does not look like there's a whole lot else. Shame, but not that big of a deal. Just gotta buy as many lasers as I can possibly get. And it looks like the burning has gone away, so we've got that going for us. And we just gotta bust up the everything else. There's so much going on here. At, at least our main base is pretty well defended, and we can also just quite simply repair it as we go along, which is good. But there's no mazing, there's no walling, which is honestly kind of disappointing. Like, it's essentially just max out your def defenses. It's more, like, gather resources as you go than anything else. Which is not the end of the world, just... This is actually less tactical than I thought it would be. I was expecting something a little bit more... Oh, I want all the souls. No, keep breaking things. No. Ah. I'm not sure. I hope we're not too late. Hmm. Let's get to the research center and spend those diamonds on upgrades, okay? That'll cheer you up. That's some interesting sound effects in the background. I think they're still busting it, sort of. Oh, my laser is doing stuff. Well, oh well. <laughs> Make samurai. I don't have a sword. Do I get a sword? That'd be cool. And we're collecting more souls. What is this game, and why? Why am I collecting souls? Why am I a monster? Oh well. So okay. Uh, we're pretty much nearing the end of the episode, three levels in, and I'm not sure how we do the research. It's probably at the end of everything, or it's like up here, or whatever. I'm actually going to walk up into the... Yep, well, camera, thank you. Okay, I'm going to walk up here. Looks like research center. It's level four, research blueprints. Like, I don't want to start another level. Let's just see if we can start building stuff, because I want to look at the research system before I ended the episode. Whew! Today. It looks like I'm actually having a hard time telling if okay, here we go. Okay. So you can up your armor, I believe. I think I already have this though. So I have to buy the other one. Uh hard to tell though. I I'm not actually sure how you... Oh, I see. We can only research one thing right now, and we're going to get the upgraded laser, which actually makes a lot of sense. So, State we go here... Military laser of the Samanto Conciliation Series. Additional uses include economical kindergarten lighting and whale dental bleaching. <laughs> I, unfortunately, they used one of those, like, auto-voice generator things for the voice actor for all of the item descriptions, which I can understand. I don't even 
Oh, this is the arrow telling me to go here. Wow, that's in the way. Anyway, so apparently it does more damage than whatever. So... You've just unlocked your first research. Upgrade your puny welder laser in the next level. Okay, so turrets in blissful areas will do twice as much damage. Not entirely sure what that means. Maybe, like, areas with grass and stuff will do more? Makes sense. Wow. Look at this. Look at just how far this goes. There's quite the research track going on here. Let's just take a look at these things. So, yeah, I guess you can unlock a heck of a lot of new things and structures and whatnot. Question is, are they all connected or do they run in separate tracks after a certain point? It doesn't It doesn't tell me, so I'm just going to operate under the assumption that you actually have to go down the entire track to get them all. And it looks like uh, to get the next one, we need 150, which is going to be quite expensive. Can I get this thing? Nope, I can't. I That robot talking to me is a little bit on the unnerving side of things. Now, it also looks like there's some other stuff here. Oh, these are like ship up ship upgrades. So like extra armor plating and repair. But I don't even know where to start the process and it doesn't seem like it's going to let me anyway. So let's just get out of here. So overall interesting. It looks like it has some amount of flexibility except for realistically. I think the way things are going to go is you just unlock everything and that's the end of it. I was kind of hoping that there would be like a more of a tree system or something like that. But it's not the case. Either way, this game is pretty. Uh, the gameplay is a little bit simplistic if you want a... I, I guess if you want a tower defense game with a little bit less on the amazing tactical stuff and mostly just resource gathering, it's going to be good. I think I'm going to keep playing it just until, you know, I get to the harder levels just so I can see how it goes. Also, it doesn't look like there are too many because there's, what, there's gunfighted barrel corral and then a locked one. So one, two... Oh, wow, this is actually a lot bigger than I thought. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Three, four, five, six-ish? So if this loops back around and goes somewhere. Sort of. Not really. Oh, these are like arenas. So that might actually switch up gameplay in an interesting way. That is closed for the season, so I assume... Oh, okay. Uh, you can buy, like, hats and stuff for your robot, so when you're running around, especially multiplayer, you look different, which is kind of cool. Huh, that's actually a nice little lava effect. So, uh, what, six, nine, twelve-ish? I don't know, there's at least like 30, 40 levels total. So it means this game has a fair amount of depth, it's pretty. I'm hoping that there's a little bit more on the tactic side of things, as opposed to you can only put your traps here, so uh, good luck. But, you know, no idea. Either way, I'll see you guys on the next episode of McDroid. Uh, if you want to pick it up, it's 20 bucks on Steam. It's 10% off right now, just because it got released. But if you're watching this later, that's not might not be the case. Honestly, for the price, I'd say maybe wait for it to be bundled. It's probably definitely going to be worth on, worth it on the like $10 or even $5 scales if you can wait that long. Especially, oh, what's this thing? Oh, sweet. I got little booties. Oh, that, that's actually incredibly adorable. Okay, this game has uh, improved to a degree. So there's the hat rack here, and uh, apparently I got little monster booties. I like that. Boing. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, 10 to $5, probably worth it. Uh, the music is kind of nice in the background, but unobtrusive. The visuals are obviously adorable. A little bit unoptimized. It does chunk a little bit when I move around and stuff, and when everything is firing. But it has potential. I'm hoping it turns out well. And, uh, either way, I'll see you guys on the next episode of McDroid, and or First Impressions E thing, even though this was kind of like a halfway point there. Either way, see you guys then, and as always, thanks for watching.